Well, what's up guys? Welcome back to the channel. Today we have a highly requested video for you guys. We are going to be updating our Pokemon Shield randomizer video. Uh, that video blew up over the course of last year and this year. And we're just going to update it uh, because now it's 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 a lot easier than what it was. Now you don't have to create any of the folders or anything. It, uh, it does it for you. Um, so we're going to go ahead and get into this. Obviously you're going to need your Pokemon Shield um, game. Uh, XCI is what I have. But if you just down uh, go to Google and type in Pokemon Shield XCI, you'll, you'll find it and you'll be able to download it. Um, as far as your, as far as the emulator, you're gonna need the Yuzu emulator. Uh, I will leave this link in the description below. Um, you can just hit the download. It'll ask you for what system. Uh, you can go ahead and download that. Uh, it does not work for Mac, so I apologize for any of you, um, you Mac guys. It does not work, uh, so you will not be able to use that. Uh, I do apologize. Maybe in the future, uh, but as of right now, it does not. work. Um, and then you're also going to need your PKNX. So what you'll do on here is I'll, you'll go to the link I have in the description below. Uh, it'll say PKNX. You'll just go over to these three dots on the side here. You'll, you'll click on that. You'll get download artifacts. It'll download it to the bottom right here. And uh, you'll just, um, you'll just unzip it with whatever uh, file you're using. Uh, I'm using uh, 7-zip and I also have WinRAR, so uh, either or, or you can just use the Windows uh, unzip program, either or, it doesn't matter. Just unzip it, uh, you'll get a file and then you'll be able to go through the file and find your uh, PKNX. So it'll be, it'll come up in a folder like so, PKNX, net, you'll see it right here and you'll be able to pull it out, okay? So that's that. Those are the only three files that you need. Excuse me, sorry. Those are the only three files that you need uh, for this. Um, so you'll go ahead, right click. You're going to dump ROM FS. Dump ROM FS. It'll ask you what ROM FS you would like to dump. Uh, you're going to collect the, or you're going to collect. You're going to select the, the base one. Uh, you can eventually do your uh, DLCs, but you're going to select base for right now. Press OK. It'll ask if you want to do a full or a skeletal. You want to do a full because you want to dump everything from the game. Uh, you'll hit OK. And this, this part takes uh, quite a bit of time. Um, so I'll go ahead and do the time lapse for you guys. And, and I'll see you guys when it's finished. All right, guys, so this is gonna finish here in just a couple of seconds at 94% and it should finish up here shortly. There it is, the operation is successful. So we'll go ahead and click okay and it'll automatically pull up your, uh, your dump folder. So if you go to your dump, here is your dump folder. As you can see, uh, C000, it matches your Pokemon Shield, C000. Um, so this is your ROM folder. Everything that you just dumped is in that folder. So what I like to do, since I don't have a lot of space on my C drive, I use all my bulk storage for, I use my D drive. Uh, so what I do is I just basically just right click, copy, and bring it over to the folder. I've already did that. As you can tell, ROM FS, it's the exact same ROM FS. Uh, I just copied it over. It, it takes some time and I want to make this video as short and sweet as possible. So what I do is copy over. You guys don't have to do this. You guys can literally do it from your C drive. So I just copy that over to my, um, my tutorial folder on my D drive. Okay. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to go back to the tutorial folder. I'm going to go PKNX and I'm going to open it. It's right here. So go ahead and open your PKNX. It'll pop up. It won't automatically, I'll go to exit. It won't automatically pull it up, but since I've 
I've done this uh, a few times it'll automatically pull it up for me but what you need to do is you need to find your uh, your folder uh, so that's what I did I found my folder as you can see it's I'll, I'll just map it out for you so it's in my D Drive tutorial and then it's clicking that folder right there you no longer have to create a folder uh, for this it'll automatically do it for you okay so like before you had to make uh, make an exe fs folder and you know put your save data in there to get it to open on pknx uh, you no longer have to do that it automatically does it for you now um, so we'll go to give pokemon all right you see we got our grookey here we're gonna go ahead and randomize that okay so it's all randomized we'll go ahead and hit save um we'll we'll go ahead well for right now we'll just do the shiny starters uh or not shiny starters but random starters you can also do your wild pokemon it'll say uh no exe fs data found please choose which game encounters tables you wish to edit yes for sword no for shield so we're doing shield we would press no it'll pop it up right here see that's automatically creating uh your exe folder okay so the first area where you encounter any type of Pokemon is in the slumbering weld here. We'll just go ahead and randomize all this. Okay, so it's all been random. We'll go to the next one because we have to random them both. Randomize all those. And I believe that is it. We'll do this one as well. We will randomize all that. Randomize all that. But we're not gonna go all the way out there. We'll just show you, you can literally do everything. You can change the shiny rates. You can do the wild Pokemon. You can change the raids, all your static encounters. Uh, you can change your shops, change your items, your rental Pokemon, your Dynamax adventures trades moves you can do all that if you click on this you can change all your pokemon's move sets abilities typings uh, how fast they uh, gain xp um what they evolve into so if you want to do it like a random you know say you want uh you want all the pokemon to evolve randomly you know when they get to a certain level randomly evolve or they evolve every level or you know so on and so forth uh you can do that from here uh, I'm not going to bother with that for right now. I just want to show you that it does randomize. And uh, we will go ahead and click our X. What that's going to do is if you go in here, it creates this folder. That is your mod folder. Okay. That will, So what we'll do is we'll rename this to randomization. Randomization. Okay. So what we're going to do is we're going to go into Pokemon Shield. We're going to open our mod data. Okay, so this is where we're going to put our mod. So we'll, we'll just drag this into here. So now it's here. We can close that. We'll go into this. And we'll go to properties. And randomization is right there. Okay. So there's your randomization. Press OK and now it's randomized so let's go ahead and open it up wait for it to load here but yeah you guys can randomize just about anything you guys want uh -huh. i'm not 100 percent sure if the traders work or the trainers work on this one uh previously you could only do a certain amount of trainers before uh, you had too much on the on Yuzu and it would just crash um, So I'll look into that, but you guys want to let me know about that. But yeah, so there's your um, Your randomized starters So If this if this helps you guys in any way, please subscribe. We are almost to a thousand subscribers I believe we're about 210 away or so uh, from hitting that uh, thousand subscriber mark so if this helped you, slap the subscribe button 
if it didn't help you and you're still having some problems let me know what problems you're having and uh, I might be able to help you out if I can recreate those problems um, but uh, yeah I hope you guys enjoyed the video um, again if you guys had any problems let me know if it did work don't forget to subscribe and like and I will see you guys on the next one see you